Hello everyone, welcome to another Bricks Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the G.I. Joe classified character, the Battle Android Trooper, or as most of us know him as, the Bat. So without further ado, let's get at it. Okay, so here we have the Battle Android Trooper in box. Uh, it's the standard uh, classified series box. You have a clear casing here where you can see the figure all his accessories, you have this nice, beautiful piece of art here. The G.I. Joe Classified logo. And then when you spin it around, you have his stats. Uh, what number figure he is. Spin it again. And you have the standard beautiful piece of art um, on the back. You also have your legal. Spin it around this way. You have this beautiful artwork. I mean, that's that. That is just really nice art. And then you spin it to the top. You have the Cobra logo. And once again, what number he is. And then the bottom is your standard legal. So, without any further ado, let's crack him open. Alright, so here we have the actual figure. Uh, once again, just like any figures in a classified line. He's highly detailed. Looks really nice. Let's give him the rotation. Alright. You know, you get all this nice detail. Let me bring him up a little bit so you can see some of this. Like, just all that nice detail work in the back there. Bring him around this way. You got your standard Cobra logo on the side. And now, you have him face forward. Um, One of the things that, and this is just a personal pet peeve of mine, is the electronics in the front. I wish they would have kept with the hologram look. It looked neat. It gave it depth. I mean, I guess this is a little bit cheaper to do it this way. Still looks nice, but I would prefer the hologram. So let's get into his points of articulation. You have the heads on the joint. The neck goes back and forth. Bring them this way. You got your shoulder joint. Okay. You got a swivel underneath. All right, your elbow is double jointed, so the elbow does move, and then you have his wrist, which spins like that. Bring him back around this way. He has a swivel up here, so you can go back and forth. One at the belt line, so you can go left to right with him, and lift his arm up. Let's take a look at the leg. You have one right up here at the hip. All right. You have one at the knee. And that's a double joint. So you can actually go like that with them. You have one at the boot top. So his leg can swivel out like that as well. And then you have an ankle joint. So basically all the standard articulation spots to any of the Joe figures. All right. Now, let's get into his goodies. Bring them up just a hair. All right. So, first off, he has the standard bat pack pack. All right. Now, there's a couple differences with this than the original toy. If you look at this, this has some sort of, you know, wiring. I guess maybe batteries or whatever kind of electronics these are. And it has this extra piece here. And the neat thing about that was with the original Bat toy, you can only store two of his pieces in here. This actually gives you a third. And while we're at it, let's look at his accessories. So, he has a blowtorch right here. He has a cybernetic claw. And he also has, I'm guessing this is some sort of laser cannon or something. So, anywho, when you bring up the backpack, there's little holes right in here that these pegs just sit in. So, this one will sit here. You can put the flamethrower here. 
and then this little laser tool can fit right up in there like that now spin them around oh, come on dude stand there we go you have a hole right here right in between all those electronics and this also has a peg that just goes easily into that hole so now he has his gear and the other neat thing is he actually has a removable pistol that fits nicely lift him up here right in this little gun holster <clears throat> now he is fresh out of the packaging so it might be a little tight and it just need to be loosened up and of course this pistol can also be pulled out of there. <clears throat> and put into a hand as well. Alright. Put him back on his little peg so he stands for us. So now he has a pistol. Give it a nice little side look. Now, what you can do is his hands are removable. So you can put, like, let's say the claw here. Mm. So now he's equipped with his claw. And the other neat thing about this and difference between this and the original one is both hands are removable. So you can remove that. Grab this little laser thing here. Ah. So now he can have either a laser claw or his hands and even the hands fit nicely right in the back here oops so you can even have them sit in the back like that as well so you can never lose sight of any of his gear all right now in addition to all that he comes with a couple other things. He comes with this shield here. And I think this is a good idea because you got all this exposed mechanics in the front, which is just an easy target for any enemy to fire at. So this goes right here. Oops. And it sits right there. Now, the only problem I have with this shield is I think they missed an opportunity to put a Cobra logo on the front of it. I think that would have looked really cool. Big, nice yellow Cobra emblem right there on the front. But, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And now they also have the option to where you take this stuff off. And now you have the damaged version of him. So, you have a damaged head and chest plate here pop that on so let's get a good look at some of this extra detailing in here with the head and now with the pack so that way you know you can also have a damaged bat soldier in combat which is pretty neat you know it almost gives them like that zombie-ish freakish frankenstein look that you know would look really cool on anybody's display stand so anyway that is my review of the cobra bat i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit a like share subscribe hit that notific notice notification bell and if you want leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one late